Good afternoon. This is the 15th, 16th, no, wait a minute, 17th. I'll get it here in a minute. It's the 17th of May, and this is Missy's kids that just came outside to play. And Rhino, the standard schnauzer with the green collar. And today he's up to eight pounds, so he's getting huge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you, uh, we're gonna do a video and I'm hoping I can get him to move away from this fence. All right, so after a little bit of encouragement, they left. So these guys are doing super good. They go in next week to be spayed and neutered and they're right on schedule for that. Where are we missing? There he is. He's behind the wheel. I thought, where is he at? We're missing somebody. It's so hot today. We haven't let him out all day, but now they're in the shade and we'll let, let them stay out here and play for a couple hours and run off their energy. So uh, we did uh, collars this morning. So the party Merle that just went under the bed, there it comes out. It has the neon orange collar, and you're probably going to hear a lot of wind in this video. Whoops, it says I didn't make it on top when I jumped. They love this dumb bed. Um, I like these beds. They're totally indestructible. Not even the adult dogs can dig a hole or chew on them. They're really cool. But the pups love them. They jump up and down on top and have a really good time. So the Party Merle is 6271's the microchip number, and today he weighs 4 pounds, 5.5 ounces. And the other one in here is the black male. And he's down here on the end. There he goes. He's got the turquoise collar on, which is really hard to see under that hair. Jump, made it. And uh, his microchip is 6301. And today, oops, he says you pinned me down. He's three pounds, 12.5 ounces. He says, whoop, well, that was a klutzy jump. Says I'm gonna bite the other one's tail. Uh, okay, the next one is the black and white party. Down here on the corner. He's the big guy in the group. And he's got the royal blue collar on. And today he weighs five pounds, 12.5 ounces. So like I said, he's the big guy. He's gonna potty. So we're going this way while he potties. Uh, the next one is the Merle. Oh, they got a stick. So now they're both going to try and... Oh, nope, she won the stick. She says, I'm out of here with the stick. It's mine. She's four pounds, six ounces. And until somebody else spots it, it's hers. But somebody else is going to grab that stick and take it away from her, inevitably. But they're all doing super good. Uh, they're in the house with us. So they come out here to play. And we laugh. This is a chicken tractor. This is actually... I bought this at a farm sale and it has a big tarp that goes over it and people put their chickens in here and then they can lift it up it's on wheels and they can move it around their yard and the guy asked me when i bought it he said do you have chickens i said yeah but i'm not going to use it for a chicken tractor and he goes well what would you do with it and i said i'm going to put puppies in it so the puppies have a chicken tractor to play in and uh so sorry about that i did not shut my phone off before i come out here and I should have known it was never going to make it without being ringing. So this bed becomes a source of keep away, hide and seek, tag, and uh, king of the mountain. It's kind of a, an all-in-one... Oops. <laughs> that was clumsy. <laughs> Took off running and flipped itself over. What's the matter? I hear you. It's a riot. We get the biggest kick out of watching them in the, on this bed because they'll go off head first, flip over on their back, uh, try to jump up, and they slam their <laughs> they slam their front legs into it. And oh, he says, "I'm going to jump." Nope, she didn't jump. I thought she was going to pounce on somebody. But they have a blast out here with this thing. It doesn't take much to entertain them. And Rhino is kind of like, he just gets whatever toy he wants and he goes and hides with it. And uh, they leave him alone. Are you hacking? Somebody's got a stick. I hear him chewing on it and hacking. Toys become, they get really bored with their toys. So
so uh, they haven't seen this hanging toy for about two days. And it's really funny. They'll play tug of war. They knock themselves down with it. They have the best time with this thing. You can hang a, a big heavy cotton rope in their cage or tie it on something and they'll play forever and uh, entertain themselves. But they do get bored if you don't change their toys. We've been really surprised. Standard Schnauzers usually are very bullish and uh, pick on the other puppies, but this little Standard Schnauzer in here that we have lovingly named Rhino, <laughs> uh, he is just, he doesn't know he's a Standard Schnauzer. He's so calm and loving, he plays with the puppies. So I love it. I wish we could do that, have done that to all of them when we had them, because Standard Schnauzers, are usually just out to scrap with somebody all the time um, and this guy's just mellow as all get out he thinks he's a schnoodle I guess but uh, other than that everything's on uh, good to go they're um, they've had their first puppy shots they are going to be wormed again before they go home and I can't remember what day it is next week they go in I think it's the yeah, it's the 23rd. Vanessa just reminded me. And uh, so that'll be done and over with. And so if you have not booked in for puppy pickup, please give me a call. And I'm probably going to send out emails with your videos on it maybe this evening. I still haven't done that. I've been really bad. With this kind of weather, we've been working in the yard, uh, mowing, weed eating, grooming dogs. We've had such nice weather. We have been hitting the groom table really hard with dogs. Uh, we do all of our own grooming, so we've been keeping Cassie busy. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesdays, Cassie's been grooming like crazy. So uh, they're all going to pile on this one. So I hope you've enjoyed their pictures. Um, they're impossible to do on the table anymore, so we're going to give you a really good video this week. And... Uh, I have not tried anybody yet on swimming pool with these guys, so I don't know if we have any water buddies or not. We might try it tomorrow and get out a small swimming pool. I haven't done that yet and see if any of these guys are water crazy. But they like to chew on rocks. They like to eat sticks. So when you get them home and they're grazing in your yard, don't panic. Uh, they're going to chew on sticks. They're going to chew on rocks. They're going to eat leaves. They're going to eat rabbit poop. That's a puppy. Unfortunately, it just goes with a dog. Um, I would highly recommend do not do doggy parks. Do not go have puppy play dates with other people's dogs until you get all four shots under your belt. Um, because these guys are not immune to parvo and really don't even begin to be immune to it until that fourth shot. So please kind of take that into consideration. Um, if you're getting the black puppy, remember the heat. That black coat is like wearing a black suit with a hoodie outside in the summer. You are not going to want to take this to sports occasions and things like that where there's no really dark shade and no cool place because this little guy will cook. But uh, if I can help with any other... Whoops. Says it didn't, whoops. <laughs> she says, leave me alone. Or he says, leave me alone. I just made it up here. They're funny. They'll wear themselves out out here and then they'll sleep for an hour and then they'll get up and do it again. If you can give them something silly even in the yard, something to climb on, um, kids' tyke toys, those little houses that they have the low slides on, those are, oh, he says, here, I'll get that leaf. Let me eat the leaf. Um, anything like that is really fun for these guys. Uh, you can teach them to go up and down the slide. You can teach them to go in and out of the playhouse. Uh, even those big, if you're in construction and get those big water pipes, those plastic pipes, cut them in half and lay them in your yard. They love to run through tunnels and things like that. Uh, it makes it fun. It makes them uh, think about things and use their brain. Oh, Rhino says, I'm going to get you. I'm king of the hill. Oh, nope. Attack! <laughs> He says, I'm on bottom. I'm not winning. That's, that's Noodle says, I'm exhausted. I'm just going to lay on him a minute. 
We got to get them a drink of water too. Can you grab them a bowl of water yeah. while we're doing this? I just forgot we didn't bring them out water when we brought them outside to do this and they're going to be hot. They've been a really fun group. Missy was a great mom with these guys and they've had uh, two weeks in the house with us. They're doing super, super good. The biggest thing I can tell you when you get them home is set down rules, boundaries, and limitations. Do not let them be idiots or they'll always be an idiot. Set down, um, don't let them have the run of your house. Confine them because they will tear up more than you can imagine if you are, you know, don't have them in a confined area. Uh, puppy play pins in the yard work great. We've got one sitting out here behind the kennel set up, but we haven't, it's kind of like out here. Let me lift this up. There's one back here in the back. That's actually one, and that's two puppy pins out there. So puppy pins are great. I wouldn't advise a chicken tractor in town. They're heavy to move around. Vanessa's got them a drink of water now. We'll see who piles right into the water when she sets it down because usually somebody's waiting on a drink and they're going, oh, water. Nobody jumped right in. Usually somebody falls in it. Rhino's the first one to drink. He says, oh, thank you. I really thought maybe somebody would start putting their feet in it. Yep. Nope. Did the Merle put its feet in? No. No. The, I thought he was stuck his feet in. Boy, they're thirsty for just being out here 10 minutes. Black and white one had his feet in. Oh, there we go. Black and white one had his feet in. Sorry, people. Oh, he's playing in the water. Yeah, the black and white one likes the water. His front feet are soaking wet. He was patting the water with his feet. I'm hoping he'll do it again and we can catch him. He says, no, maybe not. No. Nope. Oh, look, the other, the Merle's shoving her face down in it. <laughs> I love it when they play in the water. It's not fun, though, in your house, I'll tell you that much. I know, I hear you guys. All right, I better close this for now. We're going to run out of time. I hope you've enjoyed their video. Uh, we'll do another video for you next week. And if we put them out and they play in the water tomorrow, I will... Uh, take the camera with us so we can get him playing but I can tell you right now the black and white one had his feet playing in the water so have a good week and we'll talk to you later